Scout. He's a search and rescue dog uh, for us. We're the Hussar team. He's also uh, trained in explosives as well. Scout will be nine in May, so he's eight. Um, he is a German Shepherd. Anything I pull out of my pocket, a dog that we're interested in should go get. I could throw a bowling ball, that dog will want to find and get, bring that bowling ball back to me. It's not been put in by humans. That's his true instinctive drive. That's what we want. We want a dog also driven by a prey drive, basically, a hunt drive. We want to go hide something in the woods, and we want that dog to go off without any sort of coaxing. We want him to go find it on his own without us helping him. We actually, we just want to see the dog actually hunt. And that's with nose down, using his nose, trying to figure things out for himself, thinking, processing everything he's doing, and finding at the end, uh, the ball or whatever we've placed out there and bringing it back to us. He wants that like it's the best thing in the world. There's nothing in, there's nothing that's gonna stop him from getting that and bringing it back to me. That's the drive we want for our, any of our dogs, whether it be search and rescue or police work. His name is Edge. In training? For search and rescue, yeah. He's a German Shepherd, he's about 14 months old. Yeah, we've been partners uh, since the start of November and we're on a uh, basic training course and he's on day, day 27, so 15 weeks and uh, he's about a third of the way through. This is a, it's called the box field. Uh, we train the dogs to detect uh, human scent as opposed to being able to see the person. They're trained to use their nose and uh, let us know when they find uh, human scent. So we'll hide uh, a person in one of the six boxes that are out here and then we'll give him uh, a command to go search the field. And once he locates uh, human scent in one of the boxes, he'll bark, letting me know that uh, he's found human scent. The reward for these dogs is actually from the person hiding in the box. So they'll have a, one of his toys and uh, they'll open the box and get him really excited and happy to see him and uh, eventually give him his toy. This is what they want. They don't care about who they find in the boxes or whether it be in a tree or whatever. They want this. They think that if they bark, and find the person that they did good, that they deserve this, and that's how we that's how we teach them. My home dog is my pet, and he you know he's sitting under the dinner table and he's watching TV with us. And his name's Oakley. He's more of a family member. This uh, he's a partner. He's he's my work partner, and he he does interact obviously with myself and my wife, but uh, it's it's a different relationship than my other dog. An elderly lady had disappeared after going for a walk at night. The uh, supervisor um, on scene there, he wanted me to clear an entire wooded area, something that a, a normal human would never be able to search and say 100% that there's no one in there, just because it was so dense. Halfway through clearing that area, my dog actually disappeared out of my sight. And that's when I know that he's actually onto something. And um, a few minutes later, I could hear him barking. So I actually caught up to him and found him, and he'd actually found the elderly woman. She'd fallen down a, a cliff. There's no way a human being would have ever found her just because of where she was, unfortunately. It's just a bad spot. And if it wasn't for the dog, who knows what would have happened.